Hello everybody, welcome to the Zimion's Global Concerns channel and I welcome all of you today to my showing and me working on Karnan's face, partial of at least half the video that I did a couple years ago recording that made this Karnan react. Um, I will still be doing the cartoon part ones as well with the, the anime figure um, days I won't be able to get everything in with that so that will still be around because I think that looks a lot more sharper or better I am buying a chest plate for Karnon and for everything else as well but it's just one of those parts that I don't know what I'm going to get for that because I think the vest and everything just makes it look more bulkier than what it is but let's go and I'll show you what I've done and I am share a lot more information what's going on within the works that I'm doing okay let's get started everybody Hello and welcome to another creative way within the Zimeo's Global Concerns. Um, I am making a mask for Karnon's React and you probably already saw the first video with the mask. So this is a pre-record that I have done way back last year when I worked on this Cosme Play and it will be used in my Karnon's React and naturally I didn't really know how to do it. It was my first time building a Cosme Play mask. Um, I have built a lot of things like uh, ceramic styles and certain things, uh, modeling, clay modeling. I did a lot of that because I'm an animator and it's not that easy as these guys that put all that hard work into their wonderful masks and creations. I love the Halo art ones when they do the Halo masks. They're pretty cool and also people do a really good job with the spider-man ones because sometimes they'll get like the toys and they'll make them and i'm blow drying right here because th this paint is like a really acrylic mix with a heavy base paint so i i usually i was trying to go with a light effect but this stuff the the strap the, this is the chin strap and um i didn't know how much to put in. look at it just sucked it up that's how um, heavy this chin strap is it's actually light actually but it's I think it's the material the width so when I, I I did it looks and I was just seeing if I can make some fingernails I was working on the chin see what I recycle parts here and it just was a challenge for the first time doing this and my experience just learning from it I, I actually when I put the entire mask together I did it in reverse I know my head's just in the way um, it got part of my dirty floor there and everything and it's very hard um, like so when I'm trying to do all my animations and stuff I really don't get much time for them because um, since I started this channel I been really needing a team to help out with it as part of the problem so and so it, I'm just now I'm just saying for from last year to this year whenever I get it done I get it done and I have about three to five projects already built up on me and so I'm just focusing on the things that I can do and I'm gonna share them with all of you and that's my mission now uh, I feel the pressure when I try to do it because I was like, oh, I don't have no time to time. I have all the time in the world. I just need to make the time. I'm not under a company or studio budget, you know. It takes a team of five to actually do a full good animation, at least partially. Um, and if you're working in a studio, you only get seven days to get a cover done for if it's a comic book or a DVD or something for a thumbnail online. And you have to come up with a good title. And then you got to script certain things, write the story. Um, you have to go through the stuff with the character. Now I have my comic story, and I have. I'm trying to remaster the comic book. So the first things I'm really focused on is the comic book, but I'm very fascinated to get the animation done because I did go to college for that, and I had so much struggle doing this part of the mask right here, the mouth, the eyes. So I had to blow dry quickly. And as you see the mistakes right over it, usually you have like a skim lay, you could over, some kind of tacky you could put over it to keep it. A lot of people take like a duct tape so you wouldn't freehand like I was doing. So I knew the plastic parts were gonna go over the mouth. So I didn't realize, um, I should have had the chin strap on the outside of the mouth, then on the inside of the mouth so the jaws can move better. Now if you go to the actual video, of 
I might be launching another one. Um, my character will be reacting to this one, so I'll have a reaction to this one with Karn on reacts. And I did one on chefs and cooking on the first one. Um, they were randomly picked by one of my friends and sent to me. And um, I, every everybody has their taste of food, and that's what makes them special. And they create things. Some some people ain't used to seeing that. And there's some things from around the world that are done. And that I felt, you know, I I, I understand that they have a delicacy in some countries, some states. And then here in America, we're just sugar and chocolate fed. Man. Like the Mr. Beast bar one. He used, like, actual sprinkles on top of it. He actually had fluff, and Carnon called it mayonnaise. But um, he did a great idea. And that's a good sugar thing. They actually a sugar booster. But, yeah. But, um... Uh, there's this things that I was just making like what would an alien react to that don't understand stuff you know so that's one of the things uh, my sister's dog's here you probably hear her in the background she barks at every little thing she's the cutest little dog too a big dog actually she's big <laughs> we have a small Jack Russell here at the house though but my sister's down it every day so I, I love the dogs. I mean, I love animals, so, you know. And I still have to build that one little Gundam in that corner, you see. I have a few Gundam kits underneath there. Um, I'd probably be doing some more of those builds, but to get serious with my channel, I'm going to be focusing on my characters more. Um, lately, this year, from last year to this year, there's been a lot of colds going around with the family. And uh, I just got over a bronchitis like sinus cold. It was pretty bad, and um, I know I'm just having some time with all you guys, just talking with you, um, this video, you know, sharing myself. What, and a lot of people are like, a lot of people online want things expressively done instantly. It takes a long time to work on projects, especially as an independent, unless you have a lot of time on your hands and not running around with family. <laughs> so that's one of the things. So if you're running around, you're doing things like me, and don't have much time, you got kids and got stuff to do, it cuts in. You really need your own place, your own studio to work. So that's kind of my little mission, to get something I could work with after all this. Um, I don't even know if I could get a fundraiser of a sort, but uh, I really don't look for money and stuff. I really like making stuff for you guys and content, trying to share things when I can. The little that I can do is what counts, you know. And then my website's another story. Oh God, I want to fix that thing so bad. Uh, it's supposed to be a YouTube on viewing site membership. It's supposed to have a free membership, and I and I so I made a few pages free. The other pages, it's just the membership thing is supposed to be. Uh, a fan support so when you pay for that's a fan support it's nothing more than what it is um, it's random stuff up there with imagery so I'm not and I have a kind of expensive like but there's so much work I'm trying to do with that thing it's like oh god it's a mess to me every time I want something better in there but actually the site looks freaking cool that's the bad thing it looks really good Sometimes they say don't fix it if it's not broken, but then I know there's stuff broken. And I'm not much, I don't get, <sighs> web building takes a lot more time. <laughs> and you have to monitor it every day. And um, I'm under a really high partner, Google partner with the website, but I wish they could actually do something. They want you to pay triple, triple the amount than what you're already paying triple as for their services. It's lucky if I can afford anything. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so now I'm getting to the part where I'm just painting in and going around the mask and stuff. So, that's this is a fun detailing part. Um, and I'm painting the eyes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's just nice. I, I actually put where I, okay, I wanted to get green on. So, you'll see me do that in a bit after I dry it. <laughs> but yeah so yeah this is just a fun project doing these type of things now I got the white in actually it's gonna end up looking like that all the way even though I get some green highlight he looks like a Pac-Man head without all the stuff I added to 
Uh, this is just the small details that I've actually recorded. And so the green was one of my ideas, but then I realized, wait a minute, I have the colors on the opposite ends and it just seemed too big. And then I was afraid for how it's going to turn out because it's just like a fat, flat face that I was like, I didn't have the mannequin head yet to shape out the head and my big head in the way. <laughs> But yeah, so I just had to do a lot of blow drying, stop and paints. It turned out good. Because just for how the facing is, you think there would be like a, a chin, underneath chin, chin piece for the chin directly. And then everything. And some of the stuff where I did mess up, I was figuring like, hey, well... I'm going to be putting this plastic over it and everything. I'm not going to worry about it. And then I said, well, the chin straps are going to go on the inside. No, the chin strap needed to be on the outside no matter what. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> the chin strap is the separate strap piece that needed to be. Um, I think after time wear and tear when it does break down, I might rebuild the mask as a brand new one. And I'll have to do a new film on it. So and if I could salvage anything from it over time because masks break down you look at the turtle masks they're made out of nerf football foam and a lot of those costumes broke down because it's made out of that material even just regular masks cosmic play masks like this will break down over time and age and reference same with art paper my artwork is breaking down I need a team to come in help even look over the first comic and we just work on it because I do have the first comic on my website but I think that's going to come down there might be some major changes how this is going to operate I think I'm going to have the covers show but um, I'm going to have to do something and the internet's getting really really crazy you got scam artists out there you got people just going for NFT stuff is garbage it was popular at one time but that was way back but then nfts are hurting video games and images but people that know how to make money with it oh my god but it's it's a scam technically to me i'm not against the idea it works in some countries but it doesn't work in the united states it's not a thing to market around the united states if it's gonna be something with vr come on we already have platforming and stuff on councils in the modern day that could instantly buy something do something it's the servers that are being operated through the companies and not being secured and watched enough because it's easy to break a hack and get into something and I do video game design as well I went to college for commercial arts graphic design um, web art um, HTML, game design, color design one and two, drawing one and two and three, drawing one on one. Uh, I did platforming. Um, barely know anything about engineering, but got the idea of it. Uh, business advertisement, billboarding. This is all in the commercial arts, so graphic arts did a lot of other things I did that um, I did drafting one time in high school uh, well of a technical school and also I did um, graphic arts in a technical school as well as college I did airbrushing airbrushing too in college I did animal painting I learned things about nature as well I did photography so those are the things that's all the things I pretty much know and I also I'm a visual effects artist after all this time too now you got AI to help us so the lazy man tool really cool it's really cool um, but there's there's defects that are happening with some AI software so it, it learns but that's kind of the future we have to embrace with it don't know what way it's gonna go but you have to work everything together as a 50-50 from old school to new school it's a balance people don't understand these things are balanced you just don't throw old school stuff out of the door because it could be a software that could save your day if it's a software there could be if it's just drawing and painting and even though we have AI and computers and things and robots to do things in the future for us 
it's not going to be the fifth element, but we have to put a balance between this stuff. And if someone, there's a lot of things audience and people will like and don't like. And I made mistakes. I made a heck of mistakes. Go look at my older videos. There's some things I don't. It's just so upside down where I could have been a lot better. You know, look at my Gallimaius video. It's really good. The picture's so beautifully arted on digital draw, but by the time I got to the end of it, it I put all. I thought I was putting detail on it with a cloud effect, with the spray brush. And I, I, rent, I rent the picture in a way. And it looked good on my end, but when the computer recorded it in, it looked really high. When the video was done, it was just like, oh. I, 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 I finalized the video. I was like, oh my God, it's terrible. And I still uploaded it. I took the risk. It's like, wow. And yeah, so there'll be some Karnon reacts on some of my videos, including this one here. So, and this is a short video and i just just trying to share all this stuff what's going on um i also did a few po um live streams my live streams will be podcast though youtube has podcasts because i think i'd be like i'm gonna barely be able to live stream all the time to me a live stream is a podcast in the future podcast is just making it audio for um recording for your voice more but youtube's all about video so you gotta have video auditing up there and then i guess you got to hook your podcast thing like I, I go through anchor but it doesn't always keep my audio because over time like twitch it removes it unless you're a full edge member paying a lot of money and anchor is actually free actually free for memberships so i do use anchor and when i do i do but yeah and the bandana Carnon has like two different color bandanas there's a black one like this so and it does have like a yin yang but i never got to get into that and i bought like a bart simpson hairstyle thing i might get another one because these things will deteriorate over time and that would be a thing because this hair is actually feathers and the comic book itself and he is an alien that came seeking a cure for um his family was dying and it wasn't just his mother and all this stuff it was the, his race his whole planet was endangered and the story is he came to earth seeking the cure but he goes the actual sword in the stone and he pulls it from the church in the museum on the stone in the, from the actual story from a knight and it's like <laughs> And boy, does it turn tables and he gets captured. It's really, it's exaggerated. It's not what would really happen, but talk about criminal activity in a way. And then he doesn't get the sword, but he ends up going to America. That's where he runs into me and my friends. Uh, it's a cameo there. Because um, me and my friends started a Detective Said series, so that us also plays in between the aliens and the stories of the Detective Said series. And it really cuts into the story of Detective Said series after he gets to America, um, Karnan, and his, his Zimion brethren and sisters. So it's really interesting. It's not family, but it's different groups of tribes that are with him and it's really cool how the story goes and um it took a lot of re it's taken a lot of rewriting so i'm best to focus on the comic book and the thumbnails and the storyline because when you're a child i drew these a lot with my friends when we were like 12 years old and stuff early 89 to 90s um we were just becoming teenagers so yeah, so there's a lot of remastering on the books. So I want to be able to share the books, even to get them published through Viz Comics, but a literary writer has to look through them for... But I just don't want nothing... If the words are messed up, correct the words, but I'd like to share the book as is. And a lot of people want to write stories for directives. Um, because of companies and studios, I want to become my own studio, but work with major companies, be there for them. Marvel inspired me. Um, I'm a fan of Bandai Namco. I would love the stuff to go through Viz and Bandai. Marvel owns part of 
Viz, so we'll see what we can do in the future. I want to be my own studio and be a part of helping everyone. Um, I'm also a big fan of Nintendo, so my game would be on Nintendo if I get exploited first for this. But I don't know if that will even happen. But it took a lot of challenge. The mask, I just didn't get to record. Um, I even have a gaming channel called Classic Quarter Gameplays. I'm also working on some new stuff. Um, so, alright, have a wonderful day. Bye! <laughs>